I'll speak a little more today on the 7th Pay Commission, which was approved by the Union Cabinet. Uh, what this means in, uh, in a very simple way is that government employees, those in military and any government employee is likely to get a fat salary hike with a retrospective effect from 1st Jan 2016. So uh, they'll get a lump sum for the six months that they've already uh, worked and uh, uh, the package is going to be really, really good for them. Uh, now, as far as the country is concerned, um, it will impact the government's uh, finances, which in turn will impact the fiscal deficit of the country. One is that. Second is uh, uh, the good thing about it is that it will uh, uh, lead to a good, probably a good economic recovery because people are going to go out and spend with more money in their hands. So you would probably see a better demand for, say, two wheelers or cars for that matter or FMCG goods for that matter. So uh, the, what good the 7th Pay Commission will do is it will boost uh, demand uh, and discretionary spends will be up as far as the uh, impact of the 7th Pay Commission is concerned. As I mentioned, it will uh, impact the government's finances and they'll have to look at ways and means to uh, curb the fiscal deficit uh, to levels they had mentioned in the Union Budget 2016. Another impact that could happen is it could lead to inflationary pressures in the economy. As, the, as more money is put in the hands of uh, people, this, they tend to spend more and this could lead to inflation. Uh, if that happens, then probably we are not going to see any more interest rates uh, being hiked uh, in the immediate future. So to that extent, we, we will probably have interest rates at elevated levels if inflation goes up. Also, you can subscribe to our videos. Uh, there's a button there and uh, which you can view and subscribe to videos so you get the videos straight.